Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Sprint. Today we are going to learn about TCP custom roles. Since this topic is really important for TCP Associate Cloud Engineering exam, take, it on. take this further and explain you step by step guide so it becomes very easy while you prepare. By the end of this video, you will also get to learn that how can you sync your LDAP users to GCP to, to have an automated sync between your LDAP and GCP projects. Without any delay, let's get started with the video today. So far, we have applied permissions at org label, at the folder labels, or at the project label. These are three places where we apply IAM policies. Also at the resource label. Just a quick recap. If you want to see that which person has or which group has what permission, you will come to I am principal is your identity, role is roles, what you can do, your capabilities, and this is your resources. Okay, this resource tells you that where you can do what and who can do that. It is all about I am policy. If you click on grant access, for example, you can see resource is data science broad project. If it's a folder, it will come a folder. This principle means a user, group, domain, service account. And then you have at last role. Role is your capability. We learn about basic roles. We learn about predefined role, which is already provided by Google. We learned uses of these uh, two roles. But today we are going to learn a more specific thing, which is called custom role. So yeah, this, these three aspects, I think you have so far understand very well and you can do anything. For custom role, we will just give a quick recap that go to I am, you know, I am permission, custom role and all. And you can see that I am basic and predefined role reference. You can see these three roles are here, owner, viewer. Then this is the predefined role, which is which Google have prepared for us, which is very specific to services. If you want to just see any specific service like Cloud Composer, you can select it and all permissions for that particular service will be available here. That is the benefit of predefined role. But then there will be some situations. This is complete list of uh, all the services which we have like Cloud Spanner, SQL, Compute Engine. You want to give somebody just admin, you can give just admin or maybe a U image user. There could be a situation when I just want to use three permissions from this, three permissions from image user or just three permissions from admin part. Then how can I handle that kind of situations? Custom role is all about that, which we are going to learn. So suppose we need to give somebody GCP BigQuery role and a compute role and a data proc role. And we cannot use this, this uh, predefined roles because it will give you too much permission. Support role has three phases. One is supported, testing and not supported. For production use cases, we are only going to use the roles which are supported. Okay, we this is a list of the supported one or not supported one or which is just in testing. This is to help us that how are we going to, you know, create our role without, you know, uh, making any fault with the testing one. It is just a flag for us. So uh, I think it's the time to go ahead and create a custom role and get our hands dirty. For that, I'll click on I am admin and roles. In this here, here you can see a list of already available role. Okay, this, this is created by Google in every project and you can just use if you need them. But today we want to learn about our own custom role. So I'll say that, okay, create a role. Once you create a role, you can say any, any name. Now, very important part is um, this role launch type, alpha, beta, GA disabled. Alpha is when you're just creating a role and testing it. 
Beta is when you are confident that it will work. And GA is available and everybody can use it for production as well. For that, once you choose Alpha, you can click on Add Permissions. This is a list of services. I'll say I want to work on compute. So show me all the compute related uh, list. So I say, okay, I'm interested in these two roles, which is image user and instance admin. There are 288 permissions. Okay. I don't want all of them. I just want a few of them. I will just go ahead and choose. See this testing, I'm not going to choose the testing one for my production use cases until it is supported by Google. So uh, basically Google is also doing the testing. So I, I'll choose randomly few options while you work, you know what you need. So as for your need, you can select. So I just selected 17 permissions out of 288. I'm removing the testing one also. You can see this is the list of all compute. Now I say that, okay, I also want to give uh, the user or service account, whoever is going to use this role a SQL viewer role because they have to talk to a database. So out of 41, I am going to give them users get users list. Also, I'm going to give them 21. So total 27 permissions we have assigned for this particular role. This is how you can select roles. Now you can see we have compute and cloud SQL together. We'll create, click on create. This will create a custom role for me in alpha phase. Okay. Alpha means we are just, we have started testing it. You can edit it and you can have a meaningful name. Like say cloud sprint, um, role, data science, role. Okay. This is the name of our role list. Remember this alpha phase. We say okay, update it. You can see this role is created and it has a different logo, right? An org label kind of logo. You have 27 permissions. It's created under this project. Okay. Your role is created. So you out of identity role resources, you are under this resource and your role is created. Now you say, okay, uh, suppose I want to give it to a service account first of all. Okay, let me choose this service account, Jupyter service data proc service account. And uh, I'll go to custom and you can see the role which we just created is available here. We have basic, we have uh, currently used custom. Custom is custom role which we just created. On data science prod, this particular role, I'm gonna save it. So I attached the policy. So now Jupyter notebook can do those 27 things which we just selected in that and it this particular service account can do only on this project because resource is a project project called data science prod okay this is how you can create a custom role and use a custom role that is uh, the beauty of it if you have created it at the org label you can use it at the org label also that's how you create a custom role now let's go ahead to I am again and check out that. Can I attach the same role to a different group as well? Because that question can come, come to your mind that is it, can, is it unique to an identity? No, it's not. You can attach to anybody role. The point of creating the custom role, it can be used many times. So we just assign this to data science group as well. You can see it is assigned to a service account and a user group also. So if you, you know, create a role which can be used by anybody, it can be used by anybody. That's the benefit of creating custom roles. Now let's go ahead and we are confident that, okay, it is fine. Let's change it to general available or beta and you can update it. So, which means anybody else can use it now. Okay. This is the benefit of, uh, uh, you know, keeping it in phases when you are not confident, do not make it available. Next is you can create a role from a role. You can have those 27 permissions. You can just add one more permission because you don't want to give that single permission to anybody else. There is a new requirement. You will just go ahead, create from the role. Okay. That's the thing. That's how you can create a role from that. 
cool so now we just created it yeah this is very important for the exam ga g cloud am roles copy when you create a role in a project you can copy it to a different project if you have created in an organization you can copy to other any project or organization as well g cloud has also two more commands which is copying alpha and beta so just for now understand you can copy roles from one project to other project or from all to all that's the uh, benefit of uh, creating custom roles so you don't have to create it again and again that's all about custom roles <laughs>